Get over here. Alright guys, so we got uh, Soda here. Last time I looked at her a few days ago, uh, she looked like she didn't have much hair on her back abdomen. This is a Mexican red knee tarantula. And her uh, abdomen looked really glossy black and didn't have a lot of hair on it. And it looked kind of swollen. So kind of suspected that she might be getting ready to molt. And let's go ahead and check on her today now and see if she did indeed molt. Now she's been hiding out, she used to hide under her coffee can over here, but the past few weeks she's been under her water dish. So we're going to go ahead and check and see. Oh wow, she is a lot bigger. Holy cow. And there's her old mole right there. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and my wife works at a pet store. She is going to take in this old mole and uh, see if they can tell if soda is actually a female or a male wow okay so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna take a wet paper towel and in a bag like this and we're gonna put the mold in the wet paper towel uh, just in case to keep it from drying out any more than it already is so let's go ahead and take our tweezers here and she's probably gonna get freaked out run off Yep. There is her old molt. Let me get my camera on it. Yep, there's her old molt. And we're going to smash it. Alright, we're going to go ahead and zip this up and have my wife take this into the pet store and see if they can't tell from the molt if she's a male or female. Evidently you have to take it into somebody that knows what they're doing. So uh, We're also going to go ahead and try to feed Soda a bug here. I think it's been a couple of days. You want to be really careful right after they molt because you don't want to put, especially like a cricket or something, because they're really, really fragile uh, for a couple of days. But it looks like she's grown some hair and I think it's been a couple of days since she's actually dropped that molt. I think she dropped that molt right after I looked at her about three days ago. So I think she's ready for a, uh, she's probably good and hungry. We'll, we'll try it out. All right, this one's a little better. All right, let's go ahead and drop it and see if she uh, goes for it. We got our cat looking on too. <laughs> All right, here we go. I hit her right. I think I dropped it right on her. All right. Soda took no interest in this Dubia Roach on this particular day. This was just a couple of days ago. And uh, took no interest in the bug at all. But we did take that molt in and have the molt checked to see if Soda was a male or a female. Now, all this time, I've had a feeling it was a female. And I was dead wrong. Soda is indeed a male which is kind of a bummer deal because I mean it means that soda will probably only live like maybe five years maybe six uh, instead of a possible 30 maybe 35 years if it was a female but anyway soda is a male and uh, for any of you guys that care out there anyway want to go ahead and thank you guys for watching be sure you comment down below be sure you rate this video thanks so much for watching everybody we'll see you in the next video take care